So anyway, you can, um, climb those. That couple can still hurt you, even though they're away from the door now. Let's climb up for some money. I don't know why those things are shooting fire. I don't know why I constantly try to bring logic into my games. It doesn't work at all. So it's time to go to um, the roof, which is over here. So we're going to go past the landing, past all of these guys, these night guys. And here we go. This, is, this leads to the attic. It is kind of, it's not a maze, but it's kind of annoying because bats are going to fly all over the place. And also there's rats. What the bats love to do is you jump on them and they boost you up another platform. And sometimes you don't want to go up to those platforms. Bunch of money here. Let's get uh, all the money we can get. Rats. At least it makes sense. The enemies in here actually make sense. Come on. How can I kill you? Like that. Because rats and bats in the attic make more sense than... Well, everything else that I've been... Well, it definitely makes more sense than penguins in the freezer. So, uh... Yeah. Yeah. There's another secret money room in the attic. It's the last one. How do I get... How do I get this? Alright. It's at the very end of the attic. You'll want to have to get there. And yeah, and the roof... The roof, it's very easily to get knocked down off the roof. And if you get knocked off the roof, you're gonna have to... Um, How did I not hit that? If you get knocked off the roof, you're going to have to do this entire attic part again. Don't die. Um, come on, bat. I know you're... Oh, crap. I hate... You gotta love the way these, um, enemies respawn. Especially in these older NES games, or in NES games in general. Look, now that bat that I wanted to get rid of is back. Anyway, stand on top of this cabinet, press B. Here's the last money room that I know of. It's probably it's probably just it. I think there's only four money rooms. Oh, and of course it has to take you here. So, uh, yeah. I am going to have to kill myself for health. I'll do that right here. Because there's no way I'm doing the roof part with just, um, one sliver of health. It's not impossible, but it's definitely not something that I'm going to be doing. So let's just go past the attic again. And if you're lucky, this will be the last time we have to go through the attic. Because like I said, the roof, it's easy to get knocked off the roof. And when you get knocked off the roof, you're gonna have to go all the way upstairs... It basically puts you in your front yard. So you want to... You'll have to do everything all over again. You have to walk all the way back up. Past everything. Go to the attic. Go back to the roof. Only to get knocked off again. If you don't know how to navigate the roof. So now, here's that roof I've been hyping up like crazy. Let, I'm going to make a save state here. Just to show you what happens... Yeah, you get knocked off there. And like I said... Like I said, I'm not going to be using save states to, um... Actually... Progress in the game just to show you... What you're not supposed to do. Okay. Random roof tiles pop out of nowhere and... And they will hit you. Trust me, they will hit you. Luckily, I know where the rest of them are. Three. So you have to... So anyway, so there's three of them here. And then you move on. And there's not any of them for a while. What I what I had to do was um, count tiles. Count the top of the tiles up there. That's basically what I did. So the... 
I counted 39, so I'm going to count 39. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. All right, that's good enough. You want to basically do this. All right, because that tile, you do not want that tile to hit you. All right, so now it's just one, two, three, before there's another tile, and then there's five. One, two, three, four, five. Where is it? All right, there it is. Now it's another three. One, two, three. Another three. One, two, three. Okay, good. And there's another five. One, two, three, four, five. All right, it's just two. One, two, and that's it. That's how you get past the roof. It is extremely annoying. There's some fog. Let's get out of here. Let's go to the chimney. Where there's some nice money and an extra Gomez. If I'm lucky, I'll be able to get the million dollars in here. There it is. One million dollars. But we're not done yet. We have... We still have to... Where are we? Now that we have all the ingredients for the shrinking potion, we have to rescue Pugsley. Then we can actually rescue Morticia, which is Gomez's wife and is probably the Princess Peach of the game. So, back to um, Pugsley's room to help him. And... He, he, he gives you kind of an interesting message. I guess we'll we'll read it together when we get there. Let's see what he has to say. Thank you for releasing me. If you keep me safe, I am small enough to climb through a keyhole and unlock a door. He says that, but as far as I know, he doesn't do anything. Maybe the developers ran out of time. I do know there's a locked door here. But I always thought it just led to the final boss room. Maybe it does, maybe it doesn't. Who knows? The world may never know, especially since Ocean, the developers that made this game, have long since went out of business. So now you get this music over here. Why can't I get it? I think you have to move this stool. Let's summon Lurch again. Move this stool over here. Music manuscript. You rang. Yes, I did. He, he'll take this music to the ballroom. Now we play the waiting game. We're going to wait for Lurch to get to the ballroom. Because there's a secret door here. I'm just waiting for it to open. Any day now. So yeah, there it is. This will take you to the chain room, which is a really crappy, 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 crappy room. You want to pull on this chain. If you pull on any other chain, well, let me show you what happens. This one takes you to the crypt. You do not want to go there. This one takes you to the kitchen. You do not want to go there either. This one takes you to... The pit where you automatically will die and lose a life. See? I'm not kidding. And this one takes you to... Where does this one take you to? Outside in the garden. You do not want to pull on any of those. Pull on this one. Because this will take you to the secret river. Well, where, where there's just... There's just a few more bucks here, just in case you're just short of the million dollar mark. Which, luckily, I'm not. So here's the weigh-in room. Stand on here. If you have a million bucks, you can enter this door. Or, let's see. Where the final boss of the game is. Here's Uncle Fester. He just attacks you randomly. I'm gonna save there. Because I might want to play around in here for a bit. In fact, you don't even you don't even have to kill anybody. I'm just gonna use thing, go up here, and guess what? I just finished the game. 
You have rescued Morticia and restored the family treasure. Yes, I did. And now we have a dancing scene. And there we go. There's your ending of the game right there. Morticia and Gomez bounce off the walls like breakout style and I don't know what they're doing. I guess they're just dancing around because they got back, Gomez got back his wealth and everyone was saved and guess what? Game over. Game over. Just like Raul Julia said in Street Fighter because he played Gomez, you know. Anyway, I want to play around in this room a bit. If you want to actually fight people and you don't have thing, basically all you have to do is just jump on Uncle Fester a bunch of times. Except I'm failing at it. He throws things at you. I don't know what they are. Oh, and there's Tully Alford. He just killed me. So yeah, if you don't have thing, you can just basically ignore everything in here. If you can e even if you do, even if you don't have thing, you can just go up here anyway. Let's kill this guy anyway. There, you're dead. And the spikes will fall on Morticia if you're not careful. Although, I don't think they actually do anything. So that is Let's Play The Addams Family for the NES. Hope you have enjoyed this playthrough. I got a black screen that time. I don't, underst I don't understand why. But oh well, it doesn't really matter. So... Uh, is this game for you? Who knows, if you're a fan of NES games, and you haven't tried out the any or haven't tried out the Adams Family, I'd say give it a- give it a try. It's pretty fun. Although, people do give it a bad rep. For reasons why, I have no idea why. So anyway, that's the Adams Family. I'll see you next time.